welcome to yet another video I actually had made a video previously for a space rover simple one which had hydraulic mechanism but it had only four wheel but the project actually requires us to have a rocker bogey mechanism for the project so what I'm gonna do is I have created a project called space rover term 3 since I already have enough files over here I've created another folder so I'm gonna save my files over here anyhow let's start with the project so as you know there are three planes xz xy and yz right anyway i'm going to start with sketch rectangle center rectangle the reason why i choose center rectangle is that if i had chosen two point rectangle i have to choose the starting one side of the rectangle and the other side of the rectangle whereas for the center point rectangle i can just choose the plane right i'm so i'm going to choose the xz plane So the exit plane I'm, I have chosen it. So what I do is I click on the center. This is my center point origin. All the axis, axis zero, y zero, and z zero. So I click over there, and then after that I just drag the mouse wherever I want. I can actually type in my required dimensions. I'm going to take in 110. No, yeah, 110 by 80. That's the dimension I need. Uh, our 3D printer is. 140 millimeters right maximum capacity to print uh, that's the reason I'm making a small prototype of it so 110 millimeters is 11 centimeter 80 millimeters is 8 centimeter for the project we actually require to make it bigger in size because you have to print a model so it's a we will discuss the size later on for now I'm just making a prototype of it just a small representation that's why I'm going with these dimensions after I have typed my required dimensions, I press enter. And now the rectangle is ready. So I need to extrude it now. In order to extrude, I go to create, extrude. So I extrude it. I just drag it up or type in whatever okay now it's 30 millimeter I just need around 40 millimeter so I'm gonna go with 40 and then the operation since it's the first body let's just go with new body then I click OK that's our main body now we can add the mechanisms that we need all right so this is what we are actually going to make we need this mechanism so basically on one side we'll have three wheels on the other side we'll have another three wheels so we need to have this rocker and then over here bogey right so let's start making on this side and then later we can mirror it on the other anyhow now what we need to do is we need to make the mechanism so i'm going to choose this face of my body and then i go to sketch circle center diameter circle the reason why I'm choosing it before we have this particular rocker, we need to have a circle or a cylinder that is connecting the booty and the rocker. So I need that particular cylinder. So I'm gonna go here, type in around up, let my cylinder be around 8 millimeters, maybe 6. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go with 6, and then I click enter. And six, let's just go with eight or six. Uh, anyway, uh, click enter. I've got the circle done. Now, what I need to do is I need to extrude it. So, I'm gonna go to create. I choose the circle first and then I go to create and extrude. You can either click E for extrude instead of going to create and extrude, just type in E and then choose the circle. I mean not type just press the E button on the keyboard and then so choose a circle the extrude option will be chosen automatically so I'm gonna extrude it for around 5 millimeter let the operation be on join because this is joined to the body right and you click OK so I've got the thing done here now what I'm gonna do is I need to have I need to have a rocker built into it so before i start i need to choose this face because i'm gonna draw 
if you're looking from sideways I need to draw the rocker sketch over on this line like 5 millimeter from the body so the best way to do is either offsetting the plane or choose this particular face then create a sketch line or press L so once that is done we can go for what we need so I'm gonna start my point here we need to have a shape almost like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for around 20 millimeters is gonna be a bit too much so I'm gonna go with 15 millimeters then I press click no that's not 15 millimeters right so what I can do is I'm gonna undo it line start from this point 15 yes then click ok then we need to have this in a bit of angle so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take around my degree is gonna be 110 right length I'm just gonna keep it at 50 for now okay so the length that should be at 50 or maybe 55 that's gonna be a bit too much for now let it be 50 and then press I click I'm not sure if it's 55 though is it so if you're not sure undo it best way to do is go to this line start from the point where it ended type it 50 and then type down degree as 110 no that's not oh yeah it's starting from here so in that case what we can do is 90 that's the case you can do around uh, 70 maybe 70 no, not 170 70 that should be so 50 centi 50 millimeter and 70 i have total of 50 and that degree is 70 from that particular line go back to line choose from here uh, the diameter is 6 millimeter so we need to have at least 8 millimeter just in case so i'm going to type in 8 as my distance uh, and will be 180 degree and then I click there not eight. better to press enter I think so let's just click at this point type in 180 degree 8 and then click enter so that's 8 degrees I mean 8 millimeter for you then let's just start from sketch again what we are going to do now is we need to reach this point but with a degree of 110 degrees right it's 70 from this side and if you're going from this side it's 110 so we need to reach a point of this one so let's just say 42 but it's going to be a bit more. so 41.5 yeah 41.5 should be fine so i'm going to go with 41.5 then i click on line again continue till around yeah this is okay i think so i'm gonna make it 55 yeah 55 millimeter and i click okay and then the same uh what i need to do now is i have here now i need to have this particular part and then draw the line from here so before i do anything of that sort I need to draw this angle right so I click from this angle and then type in my angle at 110 degree then this should, this should be shorter than this one right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it up to here maximum yeah that's around it's around 27.5 or maybe 27 yeah let's just go with 27 nothing's gonna happen so i go at 27 how much did we take here it was 8 so we take another 8 from here to the side 8 and then press enter now we need to bring from this point to this point right so what we can do now is sketch let's start from this point i think so what I'm gonna do now is take since this is 110 since this is 110 to make this 180 we need 70 so the angle should be around 70 degrees and then click at 27 then extend it up to
here yeah, 8.5 and then directly link it over here all right so we have got the mechanism almost done press escape and then press the home button so this is done now what we need to do is we need to extrude this a bit so what i'm going to do i'm going to click this one and then okay let's not do that way let's just go to create extrude then we need to choose the profile right so if i choose this this particular cylinder is not chosen so i click at that as well so the two profiles are selected then i'm going to go for two directions okay instead of direction one side i'm going to go for two side and make sure this is new component not a body new component once that's done what you can do is go to the front view since this is a joint try to bring it a bit at least say one millimeter to the left so that it's more like it's linked to this particular part and then you can or bring like two millimeter maybe and then bring this about one millimeter so total of three millimeter thickness rocker bogey if you want to show this um circle what you can do is ignore that for a while i mean don't choose the circle if you need the circle outside the rocker so just select the rocker part not the circle so it will be one profile and then you keep it at a total of one on the left one on the f i mean one on the back one on the front total two millimeters and then you click ok so your rocker is now two millimeters if you need to extrude this you need to press pull it right so you just press pull it bring it outside it's already five millimeters if you need to sh show it outside what you can do is okay that cannot be done so what we can do now maybe try the extrude part now you can go for join with other one yeah so let's just go with join and then click ok we need to add the mechanism right so what we can do now is go to assemble as build join we need to try and see if this rocker would rotate around this particular join so choose the component first so which is our component this is our component right that's the rocker and then it's gonna rotate around this change the type to revolute so we need to choose around which position it's gonna revolute, uh, rotate right so position choose this line so yeah it will rotate around that particular line then click ok we don't need to rotate 180 degree, I mean 360 degree we'll change the limits later so that's done now what we need to do is we need to add this joint and this rocker I mean this bulky part that what we can do now is we need to scale on this I'll go back to home on this rocker part we need to create another circle and then extrude it as a joint to make the connection between rocker and the bogey so I go to here and it choose the center right to choose the center is gonna be a bit difficult I think okay I'm gonna go with this one so the diameter of my circle would be six and then I click enter so I have chosen the circle of diameter six now and I, I don't need this lane this lane is separating the circle into two so I'm just gonna delete that I click that line and I delete it try to delete it actually yeah that line is gone now I don't need it anymore so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the right view go to create extrude and I click this particular circle and then I go back to the front view or let's just do one thing what, I, what we can do is see the circle is created here I should have yeah circle is done okay now what we can do is so yeah I got to my face now choose that circle go to modify create extrude now we need to extrude it for a while that could be around uh, one millimeter here and choose operation direction to be two sides one millimeter inside and the operation should be joined we are joining this thing this connection to the rocker and you click OK so this joint is actually connected with this I think we should make the outer part actually more because we are connecting the bogey so 
sorry about that go to extrude again go home choose this face we need to make it a bit more bigger in size so what we can do is extrude it for about yeah and make sure the operation in join we need a, a total of it's one millimeter inside and one millimeter here and now again three so a total of five millimeter the join should be so okay that's connected now we need to add the bogey part in order to add the bogey we need to choose this face of the cylinder go to line let's start with from this point mm. 10 millimeter fine it should be around this line right so let's okay that was some mistake from my side sorry about that so we go here 110 degrees and then the no 110 degrees and then it changes okay that's where it needs 15.4 on four. it meets this but see if you can see the blue dotted line it meets, uh, meets the same as the other one so yeah we click over there so we got 15.4 uh, four on 4 and then how much did we take here I think we took 8 so I'm gonna take the same now the degree could be 180 no not that so that's done now I, what I need to do is keep on the straight line go for 8 millimeter and then click enter so I got this 8 and then oh i should have done it back. sorry undo line choose from here eight millimeter enter. so that's eight line again start from this point go around uh, 110 degrees yeah the dimension should be in a way that it touches over here right so I'm gonna go for yeah 23.399 yeah so I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna click there for a while so I've got that part done and it extended to this, this side then I click enter I don't need this particular line I click delete for that so I've got 8 here 110 so I need to do the same thing on this side so I go back to line start from this particular point how much was this one 10 so I go here 10 and then I click enter so I've got this done as 10 now choose this line I need this same line but in 110 degree so I go back to this yes 15.4 on 4 again enter or click on ok then go back to line again start from this point 8 millimeter click enter line so we, if you after drawing a line and if you click enter you will see the dimension if you don't see if you don't click the enter you just keep continuing the lines you won't see the total dimensions for each part ok so click on this line we need to reach this particular line right so to reach that line and the angle should be 70 I click there and then I click join to this particular thing so I've got my boggy part done just need to add the cylinder and the wheels and extrude it as well so yeah um, okay we don't need this pink line or this one so we are going to delete both of them now what we need to do is we need to extrude this right in order to extrude it I'm gonna choose only the bogey not the cylinder then I go to create extrude and then I'm gonna do it towards the back so a total of two millimeter should be enough or maybe let's say yeah one millimeter here a uh, total two millimeter that will be two millimeter and then no not join we are going for operation as new component because we need to rotate this around that cylinder so we click new component and ok but now we, we need to show this cylinder out so we go to create extrude extrude it for one millimeter yeah this could be joined because we are joining with the previous cylinder so click ok 
so that's done now what we need to do is we need to add the cylinders for the wheels so either we could choose the bogey face or the rocker face so go to sketch circle center diameter circle right face now let's just keep in the home and choose which face we need i'm gonna go with the rocker i mean sorry bogey face then i need to choose the center so i choose this as my center and my diameter of the wheel connection would be around four millimeter so click ok and basically i've got my cir circle drawn there so from the same line what i'm gonna do here is I zoom in so I'm gonna start from here for diameter of four for center and uh, I got my circle done there as well. I would create circle center point circle from the same line. Keep my circle the four millimeter and then press enter and uh, so I got around four I and mean three circles done. Now what I need to do is I need to extrude this one. And I actually I need to extrude all of it. So first let's just if you look from this, let's just orbit around. You see these two circles are all on on the on the face of bogey, whereas this face is actually a bit of gap. So we need to extrude it towards this one and make it as a shown. Okay. So before we do anything, let's just extrude this per these two circles on the bogey. So go to create extrude. Choose this one and this one. I go back to my front. Let this two uh, circles that we selected be joined. Okay, operation let it be joined onto this bogey. And I'm going to extrude it for about three or okay, let's just say four and make sure that all, uh, operation is unjoined. And then you click OK. So that's done. Now we need to see the sketch is missing so we go to the sketch the last sketch is this one sketch number six so i click on the show sketch and then go to create again extrude click on this and then what we need to do now is we need to extrude it towards back i think that's around uh, five mil okay that's four yeah okay cool so that's four as well so we extrude it towards back around four and then make sure the operation is in join click ok so what we did right now is we the news the new cylinders we created we actually uh, joined it to the rocker as well as the bogies so we can hide the sketches now we don't need the sketches anymore now what we need to do is we need to create the wheels to create the wheels go back to sketch circle center diameter circle and you can choose the face of this particular all right so I've got this done and then I'm gonna sketch on the center of it yeah that that was my center and uh, let's keep the wheel diameter be around 20 millimeter okay so I'm gonna keep around 20 or maybe 50 15 should do fine oh it's up to you let's just go with 20 I'm gonna go with 20 and then I click enter so I've got the sketch for the wheel done what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna extrude one wheel create the wheel and then just copy to the other cylinders but the problem now is if you look from the side see this is only four millimeter this is four millimeter further from this so we need to make sure all of them are on line so we can what we can do now is we can extrude this face for extra four millimeter to the side right so when you look from the back all of them are on the same line then you click OK. Now that we have the sketch, you select that and make sure to select the center part as well. So let us go to create, extrude, this. Okay, so we choose this one first. What we can do now is before we do anything, we need to 
make sure that it is actually joined to the cylinder or maybe let's just cancel this millimeter okay let's just make it zero go back to menu make sure to select the circle inside but the problem is that if you choose a circle yeah anyway let's just do the circle inside and then make sure there's a new component okay not join component and once that is done you can extrude it as much as you need I need around four millimeter five millimeter for my wheels so I'm gonna click OK now so I've got my wheel done but I'm gonna follow a particular design for my wheel for that if you look here now we are so in the body section we have only one body all right so just keep that in mind we have only one body as of now so go to the right view what I'm gonna do now okay let's just not go to the right view yet I am gonna make the design for my wheel so I go to sketch line and then I choose this face of the wheel as my profile and I go up which is this for around three yeah and then one millimeter up all right it's up to you what dimension you need I just randomly chose three millimeter in this length and one millimeter wide and then I've got that done now I press escape I don't need this pink line I'm gonna delete that okay so I'm gonna go to create extrude choose this as well as this total I have to proper it yeah that that new body and I'm gonna extrude for one minute oh half a millimeter and then I click okay now I've got this body created on top of my wheels anyhow uh, I need to do these small bodies into I mean circular pattern so I go to create pattern circular pattern okay some corners have been moved okay let's just undo I think yeah okay now it's perfect we go to create not mirror sorry create pattern circular pattern I choose this the pattern tape should be changed to bodies I choose to join the bodies though let me just see again I'm gonna extrude this and then let this be a new body. And then I click new body, extrude it for one millimeter, click operation new body, click OK. Then go to create extrude no no need to create extrude yet so we need to have this body into circular pattern so create pattern circular pattern then choose the pattern tape as bodies and then i choose this body and then along which axis i need it along this particular axis and how many do i need i need around 15 all right so i click ok so now i have 15 new bodies before I had only one body now I have a total of 16 15 plus 1 is 16 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this face of each bodies so let's just go to create extrude so on this is Johnson then 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then I'm going to extrude it towards the back. It's chosen now a total of 15. Extrude it towards the back. So all of them gets cut. Okay, let the operation be on cut and then click OK. Now, as you can see, you have the shape of the wheel changed. This is actually good because I'm following a tank, tank top. I mean, tank track. Sorry, not tank top. Tank track pattern for the wheel and it's better for the space rover to climb uneven land right so i've got the wheel done i don't need these last 15 bodies anymore because i extruded it out so i'm gonna delete all of them as earlier right now i have only one body which is good now if you can see here this component three is our wheel so i'm gonna copy this component okay right click on it then go choose the copy and then 
create a copy you can make it as a body if you want but then that's not a body right so let's just go with the component because we actually chose component right so right click move copy click on create copy go to the right view make sure to place it on the center of it so if you can see it, that's almost the center right click on the around and see if it's on the center yes it is on the center so since that grid is done we click ok so again right click move copy click on the copy and then go to the right view all right so we move this wheel and then we orbit around and see then you click ok so that's done so the mechanism is actually basically done but we need to show the movement of the mechanism right so if i go to the join so far i have made this join that's rotating around okay and but the problem is that we need to uh, put limits to it so i go to right i mean i right click on it edit join limits then i click on minimum and maximum gets chosen so the minimum or the maximum i'm going to put minimum as minus 30 maximum as 30 right and then i click ok so if i go for the animate model now it will only move up to a degree of 30 then i click ok you can change the name if you want double click on it rocker now you can go and add the as well join for the bogey so you click on this no not joint or anything sorry assemble as well join click on the bogey and then the rocker because this cylinder is attached to the rocker then choose this pattern yeah then you click ok so now we can double click and rename this as bogey and you edit if you see animate model it just goes on yeah okay so now edit join limits minimum maximum this i'm gonna keep it as minus 45 and plus 45 and then you click ok now we need to add the mechanism for the wheels so what we can do is assemble as built on choose the wheel and then choose the bogey around which axis choose this right so it's rotating now then you click ok that's done same way Assemble as will join to save the uh, position around this. Click OK. And then as will join again. Keep repeating as long as you need. And then around this face, right? So you click OK. Great. Now I've got the wheels. I, if I want to wheel one, wheel two, and then wheel three. All right. So I've got all the wheels done. Now if I see rocker animate model see that's done if i go for bogey animate model yeah then we have wheels and everything all the mechanisms are done now we need to add more features to this design so before we do anything i need to mirror it to the other side so what i'm gonna do now is i don't have this joint or this particular piece of body on my other side so I might have to sketch the same see if, if I choose for mirroring create mirror and I the face yeah I can mirror but then let's go for the bodies this is as a whole body so if I mirror it I'll have two bodies on the other side I need that so what I'm gonna do now is 
I need to measure. Okay, circle. I need to measure the damage of this particular. Maybe we don't need actually. Let's go to inspect measure. Okay, what is the damage? Damage is six millimeter. Oh, I need to create a circle of the same. Mm, so for that, what I'm gonna do now is basically simple. I show my origin. I go to construct offset plane. I choose this plane. I need to offset it. That's for getting the circle at the same point. So I offset it for four and I keep it on this line. And then I click OK. Right, I go back. I choose this plane and then I go to sketch circle, center diameter circle. I come here. This was my center and six millimeter right so I click OK. So if I go back to the other side I will have the circle here. See? Alright, so I've got that done and uh, how much did I extrude it earlier for inspect measure height do they show the height now? I think I did it for around 5 millimeters most probably. So I'm gonna do the same here. I go back, click on the create, extrude. I go to my front view. How much did I do here? Let's see 5. This was 5. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. So that was a total of seven. I need to keep seven minus seven. Since I'm including on the other side, and then I click operation as join. Okay, done. Now I can mirror the whole thing if I need to. So I go to mirror. I choose bodies or components. Components. This. This. I'm gonna choose everything. Okay. So I've chosen, so far I've chosen everything. Mirror plane. It would be this one. So I've got that done over here and I click OK. So I've got my rocker buggy on both sides. Now whatever is left is basically to add features to it. So if you need a camera, go to circle, center diameter circle, choose here. You can have a camera on the bottom, I mean on the front. Or the back, whichever you consider it as a front or a back. So, yeah, camera, let it be around 8 millimeters. Yeah, and click OK. That's my camera, and I'm going to extrude it. E, extrude it for around, yeah, 10 millimeter. I'm going to draw, uh, no, I'm going to keep the camera as a new component, and then I click OK. Right, so I've got the new component done. To have the shape of the camera, I go to modify fillet. I do this. And then I add the radius. Let's say I add around 3. Or if you want more, you can add 5 if possible. No, 4 is the maximum, I think. I'm going to go with 3. So that's the shape of my camera. I can do the same thing on the back. I choose. Uh, I go to the back face. Let's just rotate it around, and then I go for yeah. Let's just go for back face, sketch, circle, center diameter circle. Choose this face, and I'm gonna. What did I add to? Let me just see. What did I add it? I go to the front view. So if I choose from here. Yeah, 30 millimeter from that bottom is my center of the camera. So I go to line, choose this way. I already chose that face. I go up to 30 millimeter. 30 millimeter is actually gonna be too much, I think. Isn't it? Let's see what happened here. I think it will 
30 actually it must be 15 actually so let's just go for line click on the center let's just go for 15 that's 5 10 15 yeah so that should be the circle line yeah not line sorry sketch circle and around the circle 5 10 15 yeah so 8 yes so i've got the radius i'm in diameter done if i can extrude now i do it for around 10 and then i click this as a new component i click ok modify fillet I click OK. I've got that done. So front camera and back camera is done. If I need to add more features, I can do that as well. What I can do add no uh, what I can do now is I can add the solar panel on the top and maybe a camera or some kind of those features. So in order to do that, I'm gonna draw a line. Go for this face on the top. So I'm gonna make the bogey part and the bogey part as my friend and the rock part as my back. So before I draw the solar panel, let's just add a camera onto the top, right? So I'll go for sketch circle, the diameter circle. Okay, the face is already chosen. And then I come here, choose this. Yeah, 10 millimeter, that should be fine. And then I extrude it to the top. Yeah, I extrude for about millimeter. And uh, let this be yeah joined to this one because I can rotate the camera other ways around. So let this be joined, and I click OK. So I've got that done. Now what I need to do is I need to show my origin. I need to add a camera, right? So what my plan is to add a camera. Or vertical, I mean horizontally to this particular cylinder. So I choose this plane and then I go back to circle and sketch circle. I'm going to choose center diameter circle here. Then I come to this point. My camera, yeah, it's around 12, let's say. But it's going to, yeah. 12. So I drew the sketch for my camera. Then what I do is create extrude. I choose this sketch of the circle, and then I choose this direction as symmetric. I need equal side on both. And now I'm gonna extrude it. So you can see that it's getting extruded equal amount. That's around 25 millimeter. Then I add this as a new component and then I click OK. So that camera on the top is my new component. I need to add the curve to both sides. So I go to modify fillet. I choose this and this. I try to make it around 4. Yeah, 4 should be fine. So I click OK. So that's done. Now I need to add solar panels onto the top. So for that, I can go to sketch line. And then I click on the top of the face, top face of the rover. Sorry. So um, let me start from this point. I go here. Yeah. 28, 30. So I'm going to go for around 27. 2mm outside the space rover. To get maximum capacity for the solar panel, so that's yeah. So come to the top, yeah. So if there's a center, I'm leaving 15 millimeter, so it should go here, yeah. Come back. Now the whole solar panel thing is done. So I go to create, extrude this, and don't forget to choose the outside. So I've chosen both. This I can make it as a new component if I want to, but 
let's just go with the new body because I'm not gonna rotate it or anything it's just a solar panel on top of it so I click this and then extrude as much as I need let's just go with 10 and then I click OK so the solar panel part is now done I don't know what this line means yeah it's what is that line for anyway? <laughs> That's a bit doubtful. When I zoom in, it's not there. Only when I zoom out, so let's just ignore it. Mm. Okay, now we can add fill there for the corners. This and this and this. I'm gonna choose all the corners. Five selected so far, and then six. Seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've selected eight edges, and then let's just go with five. Yeah, five should be fine. If you want to go less, let's just go for three or four or five, whichever you feel okay. I'm gonna go with five. I click OK. That is done. Now I need to chamfer it a bit. Go up. so I go to modify chamfer. I select this edge, and then I had a chamfer for about three. Yeah, it looks like so. So that's done. So it's almost done. Now all we need to do is add colors. Or if you want to add a camera on the bottom, you can do that. If you want to add anything more, it's up to you. Any features like for sample collection, you need to drill. You can add a circle then extrude it um, and then make it as a rotating part and then say it's a sample collecting driddler or something now I'm gonna go to model render so in this part you can actually add colors or whatever you need all right so let's just go quickly to finish it off In order to add colors or materials, go to the appearance. Okay, this is the one. And then this dialog box will open. You can either choose the bodies or maybe the faces if you need, which face you want to add and stuff. Alright, so let's just go for wheels first. I'm going to go for the wheels first. So I go to where is rubber working? I find rubber, yeah, over here. Rubber hard, yeah. For the wheels, I'm gonna add rubber hard. Yeah, that's done. Over here, for the wheels, I'm gonna add on control Z. Yeah, so the wheels, that's like done. Appearance, not steel, rubber hard. I'm gonna choose for these wheels. So all of the, all the wheels actually got the rubber hard. Now, we can add colors for the faces or the body or whatever you need so for now i'm just gonna go with the paint the material you can mention it as steel or anything of that sort so for paint i'm gonna go with glossy do they have gray yeah i'm gonna go with gray over here but then I need to change the faces of this one so I go to metal to aluminum. Yeah, uh, okay, so I'm gonna add to this face. Yeah, So I will add this particular aluminum to all the corners. Now that I have actually added aluminum to all the corner parts, now I can go for glass. 
not textured yeah smooth or maybe card density it's up to you i'm gonna go for glass blue and add this because i'm gonna mention this as my solar panel instead of having heavy i can go for a light color if you need some different colors good color density yeah you'll find different colors so yeah i think that's better so glass medium blue yeah that's perfect now you can add colors for other part for example this one i'm gonna make it as metal as well so aluminum i'm gonna put this trust aluminum and then this one the body of the glass i would make it around yeah this one i'll make red but then the camera should be glass right so light color light color yeah that should be okay i'm gonna add the same over here one. i need to add color for this one now so for that particular reason i can choose mm, metal steel here yeah. so i go to stainless or steel go to steel and then i'm gonna go for rough steel for the roca and the bogey Not the face, I need the whole body of component. So, what is rough? Yeah, this one. Boom. And then rough over here. Boom. I'm gonna do a three over here. Rough. Boom. So that's done. And uh, if you want to change the colors, maybe you can still change it in the pay glossy go underneath change it to red if you want yeah if you want green on the side you can go for green on the sides i don't like green much so i can go the blue the blue on the side as well so yeah that's almost done don't forget to add uh, materials for the front and the back glass. So glass, light color, yes. This glass, light color, yeah. Add this one, as well as this one, the whole camera related by glass. Color. I'm gonna zoom in here, light color, light color. Since it's for Emirates Mars mission, if you want to add the logo of it, you still can do it. So you can cl click close on this, go to deco, alright, select the image, for example, if you have already downloaded, you can search in Google, you can get the image. For me, picture, I already have the logo, I need to choose the face where I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it in here. Yeah, so, I will place it somewhere around here. Let's just go to the front face, yeah, and then if you want to make it bigger, you can do that. Yeah. So I've got the image inserted onto this one. Yeah, so that's done. And if you want to add more, you can do that as well. So I've got another one. So I choose that. Choose this face. Go to the side view. You can adjust it accordingly. Yeah. If you want to keep it on the front, back, it's up to you where you want to keep it. So you click, I click OK and then see. You can do the same thing on the other side if you want to. And don't forget to add the, the joint uh, as per joint to this week. So I only added over here. If you, for you, you have to do it on the other side as well. So I've got my face robot done. You can render it, capture image if you want. Current window size, OK. And where do you want to save it? You can save to my computer and choose where you want to save it for me. Yeah. Um, image space over. And I click OK. So I saved. You should be having it by now. Yeah. Image space over. And there you go. After image done. Hey, good luck.